Magandang magandang gabi po sa lahat. Uh, welcome to this week's edition of uh, Scoop on Air. Dito po sa Manila Times Studio. At uh, as before, when uh, we revive this uh, program, ay uh, tinutulungan natin ng SEA Games no? para um, malaman ng mga Pilipino that there is such a, there is such a game na dada, idadaos dito sa ating bansa. At uh, kung hindi man natin alam ang iba, dahil wala pa pala lang mga anunsyo dito, Chairman, ano? <laughs> na lumalabas na meron pala tayong seagulls dito eh. Dami nagtatanong sana sa email. Eh, ito yung paraan ng Manila Times para i-project sa ating mga kaubayan na merong seagulls na mangyayari din sa ating bansa. At uh, ngayon pong araw na to, ay eh, inibitahan natin ang... Uh, Chairman ng Philippine Post Commission, whose agency actually is the one running the show, dapat, no? Eh, para ipaliwanag sa atin kung ano ba ang nangyayari na sa preparasyon, uh, sa, lalo ng mga ating mga atleta, dahil sila ang gumagastos ng uh, pagpreparasyon ng ating mga atleta, pagpapadala sa ibang bansa para magkaroon international exposure. Papaliwanag po sa atin ni eh, Chairman yan. At ang isa pa nating guest ay si uh, uh, Mr. Lester Castillo na kung hindi niyo pa alam ay siya ang uh, sports director o manager ng Milo, ang uh, Leslie Philippines Incorporated na para sa inyo kaalaman ay uh, napakatagal na pong tumutulong sa sports development ng ating bansa simula pa noong 1964. At uh, yung trabaho yon ay naman na naman niya sa kanyang tatay na na-interview ko something, uh, sometime before, uh, 2000 something eh. Pagkatapos yata ng 2000 uh, si James. Eh, Namahin nga yung kanyang father, nag na, so pinamana sa kanya yung kanyang tabako. Uh, napakarami pong nagawa ng Milo, ng Nestle sa Philippine Sports at yan ang ilalahad sa atin mamaya ni Lester. Meanwhile, eh, focus muna tayo kay Chairman. Chairman, uh, kumusta na po ang preparasyon ng ating mga atleta? Hindi ko na pakikialam yung preparasyon ng infrastructure or something. Wala tayong pakialam doon eh. Iba yata nakakaalam doon. <laughs> yung preparasyon ng atleta na. At kasi itong ang ating buhay dito sa SEA Games ay at, at, atleta. Uh, first, uh, maraming salamat, Eddie. Tsaka sa Manila Times for inviting uh, Uh, the Philippine Sports Commission. First, the, uh, the Philippine Sports Commission was created by law, 1990, the Public Act 6847. Post mandate uh, is to lead uh, Philippine sports, coordinate Philippine sports, and to focus uh, the grassroots sports program by collaborating to, to the local government units, mm -hmm. and the Department of Education, Tertiary, and other Uh, agencies uh, of both private and government. On the other side, uh, we are helping the Elite Athletes Program uh, with the umbrella organizations of the Sports Association, the Philippine Olympic Committee, uh, in its Elite Athletes uh, direction to achieve Hall and Fame in the international sports arena. Uh, uh, incidentally, in the course of our of our uh, directions. I was also appointed as ship the mission of the Team Philippines. So I would like to dwell on this. Uh, this time, 2019, the Philippine Sports Commission have spent more than 1 billion pesos of government money to the Philippine Sports Commission to our foreign exposures to our athletes, uh, covering plane tickets, hotels, allowances, and other expenses. Uh, we also spent more than 300 million for the sports equipment to our sports associations. We also have improved our dormitories for the athletes, improved the facilities, uh, basically because we would like to perform excellent performance in the Southeast Asian Games and goes beyond to the Olympic Games. So the Team Philippines is ready uh, with 56 sports. We have 1,000, 1,015 athletes, and uh, there was a projection Uh, in our last meeting of the National Sports Association President and Section, that we will be performing uh, on 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 the basis of the projections of medals, and 
I felt very, very gratified on their uh, expected uh, performance of the coming C games. Uh, speaking of projections, Chairman, uh, ano po ba ang uh, status ngayon ng projections? I mean, shall we, shall we talk about yes. gold medals to be won or what? Yes, uh, their, their projection of, uh, on the last uh, meeting we had with the, uh, the Presidents and the Secretary General of the Sports Associations, out of 56 sports, mm -hmm. 45 yung nag-attend. And they were projecting a very good numbers of medals, huh? mm -hmm. more than more than the medals mentioned in the newspaper. So, and if we look back on few months and few weeks, you will find out that uh, most of these Filipino artists who've been sent for foreign training had been achieving uh, uh, medals: huh? Yolo, Peticio, mm -hmm. Vienna, Archery, uh, even softball won last night against China. Mm -hmm. So. The omen is very good, and uh, uh, it's a question, what is the advantage of, of the Philippines being the host? Malaki. First, more than 100 million Filipinos cheering for our athletes, praying for our athletes, uh, but it's also, it's also dangerous because there is so much pressure for the Filipino athletes because nanonood yung kanyang mga kababayan. Pero sa ang mga sports association athletes sa uh, ED, hindi siya bagito eh. Uh, from 1935, uh, na buhay yung Philippine Olympic Committee at sa mga sports association, nandiyan na sila, matagal na sila. At uh, kahit ba may mga challenges ang preparasyon, uh, they were almost, more than 75% are on training abroad, no? mm -hmm. on competition. So, most of them are coming now, uh, bago mag-opening sa November 30. So, uh, it is not my job to predict medals because... I'm the ship division and PC chairman. It is the sports association. But I can feel that uh, last night sa uh, send up ng bayan mm -hmm. sa Sarisal Memorial, nakikita ko yung spirit ng mga atleta at nandun din po yung mga sports heroes natin. Ang uh, sinalidya de Vega, Bongco, Nipomusino, Onyok, uh, mm -hmm. Eugene Torre. At uh, sinasabi nila yung istorya ng araw na uh, na-achieve nila yung mga goals pero walang pera. Kasi wala, walang pang cash incentive act. At they inspired nila yung atleta uh, because aside from the Fil playing for the Philippine flag for the country, may malaki pa silang cash bonus. Mm -hmm. So at saka isa pa, in the midst of so many problems of our country, it's only sports that can bring the best for this country. Oh, yeah. o, saan ka nakakita ng isang ahensya na, o isang activities na naglalahad ng values, discipline, friendship, unity, strive for excellence. No? Uh, Ah, at saka yung sakripisyo, humility, nandito sa sports. Kaya hindi siya ordinary activity sa Bayan ED. Mm -hmm. uh, isa siya activity na dapat nasa front page, nasa lahat na TV. Uh, at uh, pinapakiusapan namin ng mga Pilipino, uh, radio, TV, schools, church, etc. Na yung, yung uh, presensya nyo at saka yung pagmamahal nyo sa Bayan ay enormous and this is an opportunity for us to inspire heroism of our Filipino athletes to bring the best of the Filipinos mm -hmm. tong panahon. At saka isa pa, yung win as one, nung una hindi ako naniniwala niyan. Uh, it can be a mere slogan. Pero kung titingnan mo deeply yung win as one, it's very important also for the country, which is, we are archipelagic, more than 7,000 islands, mm -hmm. 110 million Filipinos. And we can win as one. And of course, ang championship, and success is not measured by championship and medals. Can be, it can be measured by our the way we prepare the, mm -hmm. the hosting, security, accommodation, transportation, and many others. And, and the joy of the Filipino must be there. So mm -hmm. we're encouraging everyone to help us, pray for us, uh, hope for us, and uh, expect a lot of exciting moments for the Filipino athletes. Ang may problem na tayo, medyo malaki-laki, no? Okay. Almost all the television network, newspapers are inviting the Filipinos to cheer and uh, see the games. Ang problema, hindi pa natin alam kung saan iya, yung mga sports, hindi natin pa official alam kung saan mga marami nang tatanong sa amin sa, e sa email. Oh, sa, eh, saan ba natin mapapanood ang ganito? Saan ba natin mapapanood ang baseball, ang softball? Bakit ang baseball at softball dinala sa tarlac? Wala namang ano doon. Wala namang mahilig sa baseball, softball uh -huh. doon. 
I mean, yun know, na, official na ba ngayon yung mga venues? Official kayo? na po yun. Uh, actually, uh, mayroon tayong tinatawag na organizing committee. Mm -hmm. uh, kami sa PSA, POC, and PISOC, we may disagree on many areas. But we have to respect the leadership of the organizing committee. And uh, we have to cooperate. And there are games to be played in Manila, more than 20 games, uh, 20 sports. There are almost 20 sports in, in, in Clark, almost 20 sports in Subic, and three to four games in, uh, two games in, uh, two sports in uh, Tagaytay, two, two sports in Cavite, one in La Union. So all of this comprise 56 sports. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and uh, we feel that uh, the joy of our Filipino, about the Filipinos, uh, its expectation is really great. Uh, uh, yun nga lang, uh, uh, kahapon, we had a Facebook meeting. Mm -hmm. Lumabas na po yung schedules. Mm -hmm. At uh, I will, I will uh, give you a copy of the specific schedules of games on venues. specific venues. Yeah. yeah. Good, good, good. Eh, kasi yung miski yung official broadcaster, uh, TV5, eh, hindi malaki daw cover yun. <laughs> uh, ano rin, may mga problema talaga at uh, hindi naman uh, uh, hindi naman nagko-cover doon yung organizing committee. Pero uh, kami sa Philippine Sports Commission, tulong ng tulong lang kami instead of blaming them because we are yeah, yeah. win win as one nga. But uh, I think uh, today, few days kahit na photo finish siya, uh, halos kompleto na yung venues natin mm -hmm. na naging issue. Yung ating equipment halos issue din yan but yeah, photo finish din. So all others are things but pag nag-start ng game sa uh, Eddie, mawawala na yun. Uh, lalaban, uh, ang sabi nga, uh, ang Pilipino ay palaban mm -hmm. itong 38 Southeast Asian Games. Yeah, tatanda ko nga, noong first time tayo nag-host, eh, 1981, opening ceremony na, may nagpupukuha ko pa sa likod ng stage. Nire-repare <laughs> <laughs> pa yung, yung stadio. Ganun man din sa Rio Olympics. No, di ba? Uh, opening nga, meron ding <laughs> nagpipinta pa sa likuran. <laughs> so we're not far from that. <laughs> And, Pagkatapos naman doon, ah, pati noong 1991, 2005, binili ba naman tayo ng ating mga kapitbahay, uh, kakatbahay, I mean, the way we, we conducted the games, the way we finished the venues, 1991 was worse. Uh, because nagput, nag, nagputukan yung ano yun, pinatubo, nagbaha sa late, I mean, talagang hands ang, 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 ang kamay ni President Cory no, talagang nakagapos. Pero alam mo, Ed, uh, in spite of many problems of the country, uh, I have to mention this one, that uh, the President uh, approved the budget of $6 billion, and our congressmen and senators approves it, and this now, we should thank the leadership of the executive branch, the, the legislative branch for approving it, uh, it is now on the organizing committee, the POC, the PEC, uh, to make the Southeast Asia Games successful. And we cannot do this alone. Yeah. I think uh, it's the whole country involved here. Uh, that's why this uh, Manila Times TV program is very vital for our uh, information. Uh, we need every Filipino's help to bring the best of, uh, of the Southeast Asia, 30th Southeast Asian Games this coming. 30th of November. We'll, ano, we'll survive. Eh, Pilipino ito eh. <laughs> oh, man. Kaya Magal. na tayo tinawag na Pilipino dahil cramming pero Magal. lagi naman tayo <laughs> nagiging successful. At saka, isa pa dito, sa isang pagkakataon pa, we will be showcasing our uh, uh, world-renowned uh, hospitality. Uh, Ed, I would uh, like to mention this one. Uh, there were a lot of criticisms and uh, there were a lot of questions to me pag ako naglalakad. Uh, Chairman Butch, hindi ka ba na-stress dyan? Uh, ang daming problema. Uh, bakit mo pa kailangan? Pero ang sagot ko, uh, itong forthcoming Southeast Asian game, not everybody was given a chance to lead. Mm. And for, for, for all these experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, is, an, is a component of a leader na daladala niya along the way. Mm -hmm. E kung tumatakbo tayo sa problema, sige lang tayo negative, eh walang mangyayari sa atin. So, uh, in the midst of our journey, talaga may mga problema. Pero uh, sabi ka nila, hindi yung pagkatapos ng Southeast Asian Games sa December 11, kundi yung proseso sa ating biyahe. How meaningful. Talagang meaningful kasi eh, hindi mo makukuha yung experience mo sa Lasal, Ateneo, UP, <laughs> Harvard. Kasi uh, yung nangyayari sa biyahe, kung wala kang pasensya, 
uh, wala kang humility, wala kang mm. sacrificio, talagang grabe ang mangyayari. So, it, it taught us a lot of good lessons that we have to share accountability, we have to share responsibility, and we have to share the burden of this problem. Pero ako, malakas ang kutub ko na uh, might surprise to many that in the midst of many negative news, we might deliver a miracle uh, yeah. on uh, the Southeast Asian game. Hi everyone, I am Zihir Basho and welcome to the new Clark City where the 30th Southeast Asian Games will be held this November. Dito gaganapin ang tagiso ng mga atleta mula sa iba't ibang bansa ng Southeast Asian region. Uh, balik po tayo at uh, bago po si Chairman ay puntahan muna natin si Lester na isasalaysay naman sa atin, i-assess kung ano ang trans sea games naman ang ating pinag-uusapan. Yeah. Yung sea games muna, yeah. tsaka na natin pag-usapan yung uh, mga nakalipas din yung tulog sa Philippine Sports. Uh, ano bang mga so far na itulong nyo sa, para maging successful itong Dadating na si Games. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, Sir Eddie, maraming salamat for having us here uh, this uh, this evening. Um, we're very excited on the upcoming uh, 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Uh, in fact, Milo has been a constant supporter of the Sea Games since 1971. Mm. So, ilang taon na Year in, year out, every two years since 1971, supporter po ang uh, Milo ng Southeast Asian Games. Our primary objective here uh, in Milo, as Milo Philippines is to help energize a nation of champions. Mm -hmm. So tulad po nung nabanggit nyo kanina, uh, meron po tayong home court advantage ngayon na tinatawag nila dahil dito po natin sa Pilipinas si host ang Southeast Asian Games. Napaka-importante po sa ating mga atleta na yung entire Filipino nation, Luzon, Visayas, at Mindanao, um, they uh, come in unison to cheer our uh, athletes to compete and do their best in the upcoming mm -hmm. SEA Games. Um, of course, uh, we understand that um, so for some of the athletes, their primary objective is to really win out the medals. But for us, it's really having or um, empowering the entire nation mm -hmm. to cheer on the athletes to do their best. Bonus na lang po yung medal, yeah. sa totoo lang. Uh, we want our uh, Filipino athletes to exhibit uh, doing their best para at least nang mapanood po ng kabataan or ng mga magulang, mag-aspire sila someday at ma-inspire ang mga bata na someday pumasok sila sa sports and maybe represent uh, the country in, in, in an international stage like the Southeast Asian Games. Um, so what have we been uh, doing so far? So we've been uh, doing our best to help ramp up the awareness of the upcoming games. Um, in fact, we have released uh, several uh, materials uh, starting last week uh, mm -hmm. to help create that uh, awareness. And ang campaign po natin doon is sa Laban Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. um, regardless kung anong sport ka, mapa basketball, mapa volleyball, mapa gymnastics, taekwondo, karate. So lahat yan tayo, tulad gano na banggit kanina, since we win as one tayo, we cheer on the entire Philippine team. Mm -hmm. Um, so yan po ang ating uh, campaign laban Pilipinas. At uh, hindi lang po sa ano, hindi lang po sa kampanya natin sa television at sa digital or Facebook na tinatawag natin. When you start going to the nearest um, uh, supermarkets nationwide, meron na po uh, naka-dress up na po yung uh, Milo shelves natin nung uh, Sea Games campaign natin na laban mm -hmm. Pilipinas. Yeah, so dito po nakaput forward ang ating uh, mga Milo athletes na magko po sa upcoming mm -hmm. Sea Games. Um, marami na po ang naiproduce ng uh, Milo Sports programs that compete in, uh, in the SEA Games. Um, just to name a few, for this year, we have uh, Mary Joy Tabal, 
who um, initially started in the Milo Little Olympics. Napakaganda po ng kwento niya. Nagtapos lang yun ng third place sa athletics. Mm -hmm. And uh, sa kanya pong uh, pagpapursige, um, ngayon, ano na siya, defending SEA Games mm -hmm. gold medalist mm -hmm. po siya sa marathon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have um, Pauline Lopez. So si Pauline po, galing po yan sa programa ng uh, Milo at Philippine Taekwondo Association. Who would have thought na yung pagsali niya po ng 2010 sa isang uh, Milo PTA tournament naging tulay po para maging member siya ng Philippine team at ngayon po magre-represent na siya ng Southeast Asian mm -hmm. Games. First so these, these are just some of the athletes na magko-compete in the SEA Games. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yun. Uh, bukod dun sa kandalawa, yung may mga, mga past heroes naman na na-create ng Milo. Mm -hmm. Ano na, sino-sino naman yun? So um, of course, we have uh, Liza Valdez. We also have um, Chris Chu, and uh, mm -hmm. sa Taekwondo din po, ang uh, medyo sikat din po si Japo Elizardo. Mm -hmm. um, siguro yung isa pong um, pinagmamalaki din po namin na galing po sa gymnastics program at uh, the grassroots uh, level. Uh, ito pong recently si uh, Sir Kalo Yulo. Mm -hmm. um, ano po yan, at the early age of 10, um, dinalaw po siya ng kanyang uh, lolo boy. Uh, dito po sa Gymnastics Association of the Philippines. And then doon po na-discover na, oh, may hilig pala itong uh, bata na to sa gymnastics. Then eventually, na-involve po siya sa club gymnastica. Uh, ito po yung uh, partner po ng Milo sa gymnastics. Sumali po siya sa Milo Little Olympics at the age of 10. And doon pa lang po nakita na natin na nag-most outstanding athlete na siya. So, ano po, dahan-dahan po, naiipon niya po itong mga Milo medals na ito. And who would have thought that um, itong Milo medals na to will someday turn into a world medal, itong recent na sinalihan niya po sa, sa Germany. So this is a true testament of yung kwento namin na great things start from small beginnings. Umpisa ka muna sa grassroots and then later on you make it big and we're very proud that um, we've been part of that journey together with the other Filipino athletes. Okay. So, si Yulo, ano, nakita ko yung mga ano, nakita ko yung sa maliit na bahay nila na tatlong kwarto, tatlong bedroom eh. Ano lang, parang right lang yung kanilang lote. Mm -hmm. nakita, nakita sa akin ng mother, in-interview ko nga siya dahil nung unang mabalitaan namin, akala ko siyempre, Yulo, may mayaman ito. Dama lang na manalo siya. <laughs> And maraming pera eh. Eh nabasa ko minsan na sa libre sa nakatira, eh kapitbahay lang na Rizal Memorial yan, pinunta ko. Mm, yun, in-interview ko yung nanay niya, at yung nga na, ano ko na, na produkto pala nung, ano, na yung trial nila na ituro sa public schools, ng mga, ng mga public schools na, na, na ang gymnastics ay pwede laro hindi na kahit na mahirap na tao. Mm -hmm. Actually, napakaganda po ng kwento niyan si Kaloy. In fact, yung dalawa niya pong younger na kapatid, si ah, yeah, Eldrew uh, at saka si Isa, they're also inspired yeah. to make it big someday. And napaka, no, napaka, um, ang laki po ng uh, pangarap ni Eldrew, yung lalaki po, he's 11 years old. Sabi niya po in one interview, balang araw, hihigitan ko pang kapatid kong yeah. si Kaloy. <laughs> so, uh, we want that inspiration to come out. And of course, yung role ng magulang. And that's yeah. why you part din ng trust namin is get your child into sports. Kasi tulad po nung nabanggit ni Sir Butch kanina, when you get into sports, um, aside from the medals, ang totoo mong pagkapanalo dyan yung values na matutukuhan mo. Disiplina, kumpiyansa, pakikisama, and all those values. These are the same values na kung bata ka pa lang matutunan mo na, at imumold mo pa pag, sa iyong paglaki, you will become successful in life. Anak siya ng ano, Chairman, messenger. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung mother niya, si Aling Angge, tawagin eh, part-time caterer. Yung mga, bayar ka tayo, pagduto mo kami, ganyan. Yung small parties, kaya. At hindi lang tatlo sila, apat na magkakapatid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nag-gymnast na ganyan. Mm -hmm. So ganyan, kaganda yung pamilya ngayon. Ganyan pa ako isa ikukwento pala sa inyo. Si Obiena, di sabi nung press release ng Patafa, Hindi, uh, unluckily, hindi pinanis ang Manila Times. Ano daw, first ever, Paul Bolt gold medal sa Asian mm. level. Sabi ko, mali ata ito. <laughs> May nabasa akong isa na ano na... Di, 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 Far Eastern Games. 20, ano, 1919. In other words, 100 years ago. Somebody by the name of Antonino Alo, nanalo ng gold medal, akalaban Hapon at saka China. Sa so Far Eastern. Oo, oh, Far Eastern Games. 
Sige mo, ang binrek niyang record, uh, binrek niyang, uh, nasurpass niyang ano, I mean, 100 years, years. wala sa istorya yun. Sinulat ko ngayon sa Manila Times na 100 years ago, eh, may nanalo na sa atin. <laughs> diba? Yun, mga ganun. Totoo, totoo yan. Na. Kung uh, looking back, uh, kung titingnan mo yung mga atleta natin na uh, sumasali sa Olympic Games before, wala namang Philippine Sports Commission noon eh. Mm. Uh, wala pang mga corporate, kundi uh, sariling kayo yung mga pamilya na or clubs so went to the Olympic Games. So, at uh, walang cash incentive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, wala pang mayo noon. Yeah. <laughs> Nag-silver nag, nag nag tayo ng boxing. Mm -hmm. nag, uh, nag bronze tayo sa mm -hmm. track and field, sa swimming. No? Mm -hmm. uh, so, kung titingnan mo nga, yung wala pang gobernong funding, mas maganda ang performance ng Pilipinas sa Olympic Games. Yeah. Huh? Sa basketball. Oh. Wala namang foreigner. Walang foreign coach. Walang na, na Talo sa, <laughs> sa top 5 siya. Yeah. Oh, sikat na sikat top siya three. sa top 3. Top 3 tayo sa world. So, ang kailangan lang yan. Kaya sa February, February 27, Ed, mm. uh, sa 2020, magkakaroon ng pangalawang National Sports Summit ang Pilipinas. Uh, na ang mag-attend dyan, mga almost 400 stakeholders. No? Mm -hmm. uh, may mga foreign speakers at uh, magsasalita what happened to our, uh, what was the origin of the Philippine sports, what happened on the current sports situation, mm -hmm. at saan ba tayo papunta? Uh, how, how, do we, how, we, how do we resolve and how do we take this path for Philippine sports? Are we going to take a special focus on focus sports? Ano ba talaga? So, if we are a doctor, we should be able to prescribe. It took us how many years, no? 1919, Baguio. 1992. Oh, hanggang ngayon. So, dapat yan, every 5 to 10 years, but it took us more than 20 years, no? But it's not late. Malamang, this will guide us from the grassroots to tertiary sports to elite athletes. Because we are not really conscious of this, so it would be good for us to really find a way na ma-align natin ang Philippine sports so that Nestle Philippines, who is valuable ally in grassroots sports, could motivate, inspire other Nestle in the country. And kung lumakas yung grassroots sports natin, Eddie, certainly lalakas din yung elite artist program. According to the sports wisdom na kung malakas yung fundamental mo sa grassroots, malakas din yung elite athletes mo. Kaya tayo na nag-hire, na, na, na mimic up tayo ng mga foreign, feel foreigner, feel am, dahil mahina yung grassroots sports. Yeah, wala. wala, uh, wala. Actually, so, wala. we would we would encourage Nisi to do more and, and come up with other Nestle around the country. Yeah. Focus on elite athletes instead of dwindling med cash incentive for medals kasi yung 10 million na binibigay ng gobyerno based on the cash incentive act, mas malaki pa yan sa United yes, States, yes, America, yes, kasi yes. sa USOC, sa United Sports uh, Olympic Committee, they're giving only 37,000 per gold medal. Mm -hmm. Eh, magkano man lang yan? Mga almost 2 million. Sa Pilipinas, 10 million. So what the Philippines need, hindi yung isang company na magbibigay ng uh, cash daw, no? Kundi, tumulong ka sa grassroots yeah. sports program. Yun ang kaya, kasi hindi kaya ng DPED, hindi kaya ng Philippine Sports Commission, we have to collaborate and really instill more on grassroots sports program. Yeah. Actually, after that summit, eh, <coughs> nagkaroon tayo ng silver medal kagad. After, mm. Four years uh, after that, uh, si Onyok, uh, sa Atlanta. So, after that summit. Kasi after Tokyo Olympics, de, matata, de, we have sports summit on 27 to 20. Then Tokyo Olympics on August. Mm -hmm. Meron ka pang Paris, meron ka pang LA. Who knows that we could inspire? Kasi uh, an athlete, uh, I think, uh, Lester, Eddie, you are aware that for us to really get the Olympic medals, first, we must have the talent. Mm -hmm. Yung talento na pang, pang gold talaga, okay? Meron kang quality coach na pang international. Mm -hmm. Meron kang three cycles of Olympics, that's 12 years. Mm -hmm. Then, enormous support from government and private sectors. Uh, when we say Uh, support ng government sectors. We have facilities, we have sports medicine and rehab, we have uh, sports uh, science, we have biomechanics, etc. So I think the, the government now, through the Philippine Sports Commission, is putting up uh, in the 10 hectares of Rizal Memorial, 
We are rehabilitating these facilities 1985. Ano siya, may bagong dalawang track oval, may bagong dalawang swimming pool. Halos bago yung tatlong gym ng Rizal, tsaka Ultra, tsaka yung ibang mga facilities. So, may mga strength and conditioning. Uh, so, ito, uh, after the Duterte administration on 2022, halos plastado na itong facilities, may pagka, etc. And malamang ang tanong dyan, performance ng mga atleta. That's why it's very important for our United uh, Sports uh, situation in the country today. Parang ano, tama kayo, parang may trend eh. Hmm. Remember, first silver medal natin, Tokyo, 1964. Next yeah. Olympics, Tokyo. Uh, Parang Tokyo. May, may, may trend na pinapalo tayo. Uh, tsaka isa pa, <laughs> Eddie. Sabi sa, sa Sugal, regla. I would like, I would like to mention, uh, Ed, that uh, effective January 1, 2020, uh, meron kaming tinatawag sa PC, Sports 1 or Tier 1. Com this uh, comprise of top 15 artists to 30 na Olympic bound ito. May sariling team ito. May, may doktor, may physiologist, psychologist, may masyore. At gagastusan po namin ito, katulad ni Yelo Yulo, o Vienna, Hidilin Diaz, and so many others. May sports to kami, yung mga Olympic sports na performers. Uh, then, Olympic sports na non-performers. Tapos, Asian na siya. So, uh, magkakaroon siya ng ano, na classification para yung pera maibigay sa tamang uh, ano, sa atleta. Tamang kasi, baka, baka may mga atleta dyan na overdue na. No? Naka mm -hmm. dalawang Southeast Asia, walang yeah. performance. So, i-review po namin yan. At balag po din ng Philippine Sports Commission na magbibigay ng $2,000 sa full-time coach. Mm -hmm. Then, $1,500 sa assist. Pero full-time kasi uh, walang full-time dahil maliit nga ang allowance. So, to, uh, tapos, we will try to discourage foreign coach except for inisin na ngayon lang. Tapos, yung classification ng mga atleta, uh, i-augmenta namin, no? Yung mga performer, aabot siya ng mga 50, 60,000 down the level. So, hindi na siya ordinaro. We also encourage full-time full athlete. But, we will help them uh, either DepEd or, or CHED na magkakaroon siya ng pag-aaral kahit nagpo-focus siya sa sports. Kasi may mga sistema ang DepEd at saka tertiary sports na pwede siyang mag-aaral habang naglalaro siya. So, these are new things now. Kasi, pag uh, pinag-aaralan namin yung uh, failures and success of countries, both rich and poor countries sa, sa Olympic Games, no? Mm -hmm. Nag-aaralan namin na hindi naman lahat na mayayaman ng country ang successful kasi at saka marami. Meron namang mga mahirap na country na mga yeah. gold medalists, so Kosovo, mm -hmm. uh, yung mga Pacific Islands, no? Focus sports sila. Eh. So, but again, uh, I would like to tell our public that ang gobyerno, ang pinakapangarap niya hindi naman gold medal sa Olympics eh. Mm. Ang pinakapangarap niya, magkaroon ng isang sports development program sa kabayanan to create a healthy, vibrant community about the health of our people. Kasi kung healthy yung tao, maraming atlet ang magagaling. Mm. Kung healthy yung mga tao natin, magagaling, maraming magagaling na leaders. Now, if you have a strong, healthy community, you will have a strong athletic program. You will have a strong elite athlete. Then, malamang, madaling makuha yung gold medal sa Olympics. Kaya mali yun na unahin mo pag dwindle yung ito, may 20 million para pag nanalo. Hindi mananalo ang gold ng atleta kasi wala siyang provision sa sa strong uh, grassroots sports program. Kaya in-appreciate po namin ang Nestle, not because Lester is here, no? But uh, uh, Nestle had been helping a lot in the grassroots sports program. Yung tinatawag na sports for all, information drive, awareness, malakas sila dyan. Kasi kung wala yan, Uh, hindi kaya ng gobyerno alone eh. Mm -hmm. Needs private sector to work with us. So, the, the February 27 Sports Summit will align our program then. Mm -hmm. Yan nga po. Kaya ba saan? Nasabi ko na, malimit ko na siya nasabi ito eh. Na ang sports kasi, ang papel ng sports, kaya dapat suportahan ng government. Nasa constitution natin yan, nasa salig ang batas. It's because ano to eh. Outside of education, citizen building ito eh. Mm -hmm citizen building. Dito mag ma 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 develop ang teammanship, di ba? Pakikisama sa kalaban, pakikisama sa kababayan, gano'n. Dito mo matututuhan ng diplomacy, lahat ng, ano, lahat ng aspect ng governance at saka buhay ng tao, dito mo ma 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 matututuhan sa sports. Kaya napakalaking bagay yung sports na hindi naman yung ibang leaders natin, karamihan, hindi alam. 
kung bakit may sports dito sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Kaya rin na banggit nila, di ba, ano, sabi nila, ang sports contributes to nation building. So, kaya yeah, napaka-importante yeah. talaga ng sports into um, when it comes to character and values for mission. So, yeah. Sir, baka meron pa kayo gusto mong sabihin. Ano? Uh, halos, uh, uh, Ed, uh, mara maraming salamat uh, for inviting me here para makapagbigay ng kuro-kuro at uh, ma-inspire natin ng bansa ng isang sports activities katulad ng Southeast Asian Game ay napaka-importante uh, about the people in the Philippines na uh, uh, we have to be united, we have to cheer our Filipino athletes because this is about our country and our people. Okay. Okay, so uh, again, maraming salamat sa Manila Times TV for having us here. Um, padating na po ang um, pinakamalaking laban ng Pilipinas, which is the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. So, we at uh, Milo Philippines, we believe in nourishing ambitions. And dito po sa padating na SEA Games na ito, umaasa po kami na lahat ng mga manunood uh, ng ating mga atleta, someday ma-inspire itong mga bata at saka yung kanilang mga magulang na ipasok din sila sa sports. Sports is a great teacher. Through sports, you get to learn different character-forming values that will help them become successful later on in life. So together with the, the entire nation, Laban Pilipinas, uh, let's win as one. Okay. Ang Manila Times naman kasi, kaya nga lang sabi ko kanina, very supportive naman sa, lalo ito, Southeast Asian Games. Sabi ko nga, this is the biggest sporting events na iho-host ng country dito sa ating bansa at uh, kailangan talaga support I mean, hindi yung uh, pag ano ganun na like, kailangan support ng everybody dahil undertaking nga ito ng ating bansa so supportahan natin yun lang ang pakiusap namin sa uh, ating mga nanonood sa TV kung mamarapati nila na manood kung may pera <laughs> Salamat po sa ating uh, mga bisita. Salamat kay Chairman, salamat kay Lester at uh, dali, marami tayong nat natutuhan actually sa programang ito ngayong araw na ito. Marami po salamat. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat po. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you.